What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. On today's episode, we're digging in to new harvest equipment and proven residue management products that, when utilized together, could put us in a good starting place for next year's crop. I'm Aaron. This is Colin. Let's dig in! It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, okay, okay. It's not Christmas, so you can chill out. No, but we're excited to tell you guys about a new piece of equipment we get to test out this year. That's right. But before we talk about the fun, new, shiny toys, it's important that we discuss why we need them in the first place. Managing residue is something that starts after harvest, not just the next spring. Corn stalks, leaves, and cobs left behind after harvest can create a really thick layer of residue that can impede seed germination, seedling emergence, and nutrient uptake in the subsequent crop. This residue can also harbor pests and diseases, creating even more problems. Effective residue management, like chopping and shredding the residue, and ensuring even distribution across the field promotes faster decomposition and improves soil health. That leads to better water infiltration, increased nutrient availability, and ultimately higher crop yields in the long run. Look at you, you even I know. the reduced erosion. I, know. I marked yeah. that out on the piece yeah. of paper and he nice. noticed it. Right out. And yeah, I tell you what, I'm you're really making blown. some progress. I know, let's go. You're coming right 15 along. 15 minutes. Yep. Now we got 10 minutes. Okay. Corn residue also contains a fair amount of nutrients. So by speeding up the degradation of that residue, we allow for an early release of those nutrients so they're readily available for the next year's crop. We can manage corn residue through mechanical manipulation and the application of residue management products. Both are effective. The decision might simply come down to what works best for your farm. When it comes to liquid solutions, we actually have two PFR proven products for growers to consider. Both products work to support and feed the biological components that break down that residue. Res Plus is a residue management product that contains multiple components for residue breakdown. We saw improved degradation and yield in all four years of testing this product with a $13 and 12 cents positive ROI and an 8.7 bushel yield advantage. Anybody on here watch uh, SpongeBob? Remember the episode and he's like, we snaw. He's like walking through. <laughs> we snaw. When you said we saw it, it just reminded me of. We snaw. Likewise, Robust is PFR proven with a three year, $12.06 average ROI and a six bushel to the acre yield advantage. Robust contains a unique formulation of plant and soil nutrients designed to feed those microbes in the soil, which is going to lead to increased degradation of the residue. Now, liquid applied products are great but I would rather talk about mechanical residue management options. Bring on the big toys! You're such Bring a on the big toys! Bring on the big toys. Stop clapping. Bring on the big toys. <laughs> I can't Can you that. just zoom in on me and get to him out of it? <laughs> You're like a little kid. You know, we did sing that, well, you sang that Christmas song earlier. Kind of makes me think of like a little kid on Christmas morning. Just got a new toy. Dad's got the camcorder out recording you with your brand new Maya chopping corn head. That's one way to think of it. Here we are outside Bex Hybrids with little Timmy's present. Oh, hippie. This is exactly what I wanted, Dad. You're safe getting up there. I can't wait to get inside. Good job, son. Whoa! Look at the bleeds go, Dad! Wow! I, I'm doing it. I, I'm really Good doing job. it, Dad. I'm doing, doing it. Great, Look at me. Whee! Anyways, back to the show. Stay tuned for some more on that cornhead, though, here in a minute. We have two PFR proven residue management systems that have continually provided an increased yield and ROI over three years of testing. The Capello Quasar Chopping Head and the Yetter Stock Devastator. We encourage you to check out this episode to learn more about these two particular systems. 
And this year we are so excited for the opportunity to demo the Maya chopping head at several of our PFR sites. Aaron, you know, we've, we've already looked at these Capello chopping heads. What are we doing with this Maya chopping head? Well, Colin, we aren't necessarily trying to dive back into just chopping corn head research. When we initially did this, you know, what, four or five years ago, it seems like, a lot of these residue management products weren't out on the market. So our thought process is now, let's look at chopping heads with and without a biological type product that we can spray on the residue like BioReverse from the Andersons in this particular study. And when we combine the two of them, do we see an even greater response? We're also doing that on, on a corn on corn situation too, right? Yeah, so actually just yesterday, we were harvesting one of the plots that will be this particular study next year. I think we've got some footage from it. Roll it. So after using this chopping corn head this fall, we are gonna do some studies next spring, looking at corn after corn and bean after corn with and without the residue management products and combining that with the chopping head itself. So stay tuned for the data. Obviously it'll be next fall essentially before we get that, but we're excited to see the results. Well everyone, that's it for this episode of The Dig. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when future videos come out. Also, comment below if you're using any type of residue management product on your farm, you're seeing success. We want to know how it's working for you. We'll see you guys again on another episode of The Dig. Grandma got ran over. <laughs> Meme all got ran over. Mommy, Ma's meat love got ran over by a ring. Okay. Effective residue management sus. Such as effective residue management. What, what, what did you tell me to say here instead of such as? That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. <laughs>